Hello friends and colleagues, I am Stanislav Chernonok, the author and creator of the online school of vector massage and somatics, and today we will talk with you on a relatable topic. On the subject of the coronavirus, there is an epidemic, and many people say that there are two epidemics at the same time currently. On the one hand, there is the coronavirus epidemic, on the other hand, there is the digital epidemic that hits us with panic attacks and panic states. Patients who are in a state of a panic attack continue to periodically come to me now. What I would like to convey to you, that there are three phases of disease. Three phases that you can be in. You can stay healthy, you can become a carrier of the virus, and finally you can have severe symptoms that you are ill, and these symptoms can cause a person to become very ill or even die. The first thing I would like to focus on is the understanding that there will be people in the entire population who will never get sick. And our task is to become these people who simply do not get sick with the coronavirus, no matter how much it is common in the population, no matter how often someone sneezes, coughs around you, or no matter what surfaces the virus settles on. There are people who will never get sick. The second level of working with yourself during an epidemic is understanding what to do if you get sick. And the third level is an understanding of what must be done if you are truly ill, if there is respiratory failure. First of all, we are recording this video so that you can significantly reduce the likelihood that you will get sick and if you do get sick, if you catch a virus, then how to behave so that the disease proceeds most naturally in order to show that it has minimal consequences for your health, for your life, for your loved ones. So let's begin. How does a person get sick with a virus? The virus must get inside the human body. If we talk about all viruses in general, then there are gates for the penetration of the virus. Not only the coronavirus, but also the flu or some other acute respiratory viral infections. They all enter through the upper respiratory tract. Relatively speaking, we must either swallow the viruses or we must inhale it. But if the virus has got into our lungs or into our digestive system, this does not mean at all that we will certainly get sick. If every virus that entered our lungs caused 100 morbidity, then life would be much more difficult and we would die much more often. The fact is that in the lungs there are special cells, resident macrophages. They live and devour viruses. Everything that comes to the surface of the mucous membranes of your lungs will be swallowed by these special white lymphatic cells, dissolved and excreted through the digestive system. Thus, the more immune cells you have on the surface of your mucous membranes, the less likely the virus that gets to your surface of the mucous membranes grows inside and begins to infect and reproduce itself. In order for there to be a sufficient number of immune cells on the surface of the mucous membranes, it is necessary to have these mucous membranes well supplied with fluid in order for an active breathing process to take place, which removes the phlegm that naturally occurs in our lungs from the lungs and that there is also access to fresh lymphatic cells that destroy the virus. So, on the one hand, you must be hydrated, you must have enough fluid in your body so that the body has the opportunity to keep the mucous membranes moist. Secondly, you must perform active breathing movements, which inherently remove phlegm and bring you fresh fluid to the surface of your lungs and lymph cells. And finally, a very important point, which is extremely little talked about in public media, is your psycho-emotional state. The fact is that, and there are numerous scientific confirmations of this, the fact is that depending on your psycho-emotional state, your immune response will radically differ. Relatively speaking, a person in a state of stress, a person in a state of fear, a person in a state of panic has a much lower immune response than a happy, calm, contented person. So the level of your primary defense against the virus is to make sure you drink enough fluids, to keep your lungs breathing freely and deeply, and finally the third, so that you yourself are in a state of calm, so that you are balanced, so that you experience positive emotions, because endorphins and happiness hormones increase the immune response. It is vital to be in a calm, peaceful, happy mood, because this protects you much better than a mask. If hydration is your personal responsibility, you consume more water, drink water half an hour before meals, this helps you to be as hydrated as possible, then with the prevention of the immune system, how can you massage yourself so that your immune system gives you a better answer, what do you need to do, how do you have to breathe so that your lungs are as open as possible, and finally, 
How do you need to breathe in order to calm down and in order to feel happy and blissful? We'll talk about it in this video. So let's get started. The first part is working with active points that improve the immune response through the respiratory tract. An important point will be the understanding that despite the fact that we are filming this video on the eve of the coronavirus epidemic, nevertheless, all these recommendations will be extremely relevant. In the case of any other epidemic or influenza or SARS, all these recommendations are good in the case when you just have an epidemic of some viral natural common disease. So, if you are healthy, if you want to increase your immune response, I recommend that you massage the following points. First, work with the points between your thumb and forefinger. It will be painful for most people. Look carefully at the picture. We work with it for about two minutes on each side. You can work it out as a daily practice. You go to the subway, you crumple it. No one will pay attention to you. You crumple your hand for some reason. The second point is the point between the xiphoid process on the sternum and the body of the sternum. We have converging bones between the ribs and a small process sticks out here. Here, at the top of this process, there is a slightly sensitive one. We wash it for 30 seconds. The next point will be a point on the sternum between the handle of the sternum and the body of the sternum. It will also be quite painful for many and we also wash it for 30 seconds. The next point will be the point between the collarbones at the top of the sternum we push it in all directions to the side, each one should be excluded, and in the space between the collarbones, the exposure time is again 30 seconds. The next point will be the point under the collarbones. This is the entry point of the long meridian into the body. This is the point of general action, which generally stimulates the functioning of the lungs. By the way, it is what improves your mood. What is the nature of these points? The fact is that most of them are taken from the Chinese system of reflexology, a system that was developed two and a half thousand years ago, and to this day a wealthy Chinese would prefer to go to a reflex therapist who will put needles in him, make him cauterized, rather than drink the drug and rather than drink antibiotics or some substances that were developed 10-20 years ago. Secondly, these points affect the projections of the immune organs. And thirdly, these points help the movement of lymph through our body and stimulate the lymphatic system through the central nervous system. All these points have been identified and confirmed by numerous studies that were carried out, including in Germany. And the full method, all these can be fixed by means of medical devices, electricity, in addition, there is a large sample of studies on the impact of these points on the human body. I have found that they are effective in my own experience, in my children and in my patients. In addition, I have good statistics from the leading scientific centers researching about acupuncture, the effectiveness of work with all the points that we are talking about in this video, scientifically proven and confirmed by practice and are based on quite natural biological laws of the functioning of the body. The next point, or I would even say a zone, is a zone on the side of the nose in the nasolabial folds, but it starts directly near the nostrils and is located up to the zygomatic bone and it has extensive localization. This point is a projection of the maxillary sinuses, which perform a very important immune function in us. It contains correspondingly specific respiratory passages where the infection often accumulates, and it is there that we filter our air. It is there that the virus primarily settles. The next point will be the point between the eyebrows. This point is extremely important because the projection is there frontal sinuses and it also has a filtering and purifying function for incoming air. The next very important point will be the point on the back of the jaw behind the ear. Here we have the lower surface of the jaw, we have the back surface of the jaw. Respectively there is a dimple and in this dimple we work for 30 seconds again. This point has an extremely strong effect on the lymph nodes behind the ear which take the first hit if the virus has penetrated the mucous membrane. The lymphatic tissue begins to filter the virus and place it in the lymph nodes, and working with points behind the ears will stimulate the blood supply to the lymph nodes. In order to stop the virus inside the lymphatic system, we stimulate the behind-the-ear points. 
This helps the lymphatic system work better and fight the virus already inside the lymphatic system. Thus, by massaging each point for 30 seconds in about 5 minutes, you will allow yourself to significantly sow your immune response. Or you will not get sick at all. Or you will injure the disease much easier and faster. So we talked with you about the points that will help you increase the immune response. Now let's talk about the breathing practices. Breathing practices not only allow you to increase the quality of your lungs in the sense of coronavirus, but in addition to these, they improve your immune response in general to all viruses that enter your lungs and, in addition, allows you to breathe better and naturally in polluted conditions, cities, and improve your overall well-being. The simplest and most natural practice that we can offer you as part of briefing practices is Strelnikova's gymnastics. It was originally invented for actors in order to improve the quality of their voices, but after some time it turned out that it has an extremely positive effect on both the general immune status and the psycho-emotional state. The principle of gymnastics, according to Strelnikova, is as follows. We must take a sharp breath through the nose and at the same time spontaneous exhalation through the mouth must take place. That is, we first inhale through the nose so that our nostrils literally stick together and at the same time we strive to take the next breath quickly and the body is forced to spontaneously exhale through the mouth. It will look something like this. You take sharp breaths through your nose, your mouth does not close. You block the breath through your mouth solely by touching the upper palate with your tongue and then you spontaneously exhale through your mouth and perform these gymnastics in a swift and fast rhythm. There are several movements along Strelnikova. It is recommended at the initial stage to perform either 8 or 16 or 32 breaths for each movement. The first movement will be the movement when you simultaneously inhale through the nose and bend your fingers, and then unbend your fingers as you exhale. It will look something like this. You can notice that my voice has become deeper and the sound quality has improved. This resulted in an improvement in my breathing at the same time. The next movement will be the movement when you turn your head to the left and right, and at each turn you take a breath, and at the moment when you turn your head to the other side, spontaneous exhalation occurs. I draw your attention to the fact that you must concentrate on the spontaneity of exhalation. You concentrate solely on the sharpness and inhalation and exhalation are carried out independently. Let's see how it will look. So the next movement will be leaning forward and backward, the principle is the same. The next movement will be the movement of the pump. When you lean forward as if you had a foot pump and begin to inhale on the slope. Again the number of repetitions is a multiple of 8. There are other movements, such as movements when you turn the body. Movement when you tilt your head to one side and the other. You can see the full list of movements along Strelnikova on the internet. Due to the fact that the time of our video is limited, we do not show you all the movements, but on the monitor you can see the full list and the principle of their execution is the same. We perform a sharp energetic inhalation and spontaneous exhalation at the moment of movement. People will be happy and healthy if they follow the recommendations to massage themselves and do gymnastics according to Strelnikova. Now I want to tell you about another way. I regularly use it to get better sleep in order to come down before shooting. If I had a difficult patient who loaded me emotionally, I use an extremely simple calming technique that always brings me to a state of peace and satisfaction with life. The technique is simple. You have to breathe on the count. You take slow, calm breaths, in and out, just concentrating on the very act of breathing, and you count each act of inhalation and exhalation as one. 
you cycle 10 breaths, counting each inhale and exhale. After you have reached 10 breaths, you start from zero and count again up to 10 cyclic breaths. So we do three cycles. How does it work? Why cyclical 10 breaths and exhalations? The fact is that the moment you start to follow your breath, it leads to the harmonization of your breath. The harmonization of your breath, it leads to the fact that you calm down. At the same time, your anxious consciousness, which is afraid that the economic crisis, coronavirus problems with relatives will always pull you away from watching your breath, away from watching the number of breaths. At some point you will find yourself in the process of not thinking about the breath and losing count. At this point you start from scratch and count until you have 10 continuous inhales and exhales. This technique helps me tremendously. Moreover, when I give it to my patients, many patients say that they began to fall asleep normally on it. They calm down. The important, most important point is your state of calm, goodness and balance. At the moment when you are travelling in transport, you begin to calmly count deeply in tense as a rule no matter how energetic and difficult a state of depression you have, no matter how much you worry. Three cycles will be more than enough for you to come to an absolutely blissful, calm and balanced state. And remember that your condition is not just the result of some big scary outside world, you are the master of your own body condition and your health. Follow these simple steps that we have suggested to you. They will require you 10 minutes a day and you will noticeably increase your resistance to the coronavirus or in general to all other viruses that are walking around. And with you was Stanislav Chernonog, the author and creator of the School of Vector Massage and Somatics. Subscribe to our channel where we teach you how to massage, make money on it and become healthier and happier. Like to help spread this video. Looking forward to the next video about life without diseases.